to the most sensitive aspect of soul tie. If you notice, you will know that so many women are involved in masturbation. And masturbation is a totally different topic I'm going to do. I've done it before in a live program. It was too long. I'm going to do it in a very concise way because a lot of people are demanding to hear that. So we're going to do masturbation. But I'm sure you understand what masturbation is. Hmm? I'm sure you understand that during masturbation, that it takes only two, it takes two to have sexual intercourse. I'm sure you understand that during masturbation, you are actually having sex with a being that you can't see. I'm sure you have not been deceived into thinking that masturbation is just me touching myself. No, a sexual act must involve two people. And you are the physical one that we can see. What about the one that we can't see? It is a male spiritual energy that you are having sex with if you're a woman. And there is a female spiritual energy you're having sex with if you're a man. And so for the ladies, this male energy, you go every time you have masturbation. You have masturbation and this male energy, just like the, 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 the physical male, will now dump his wicked, evil energy, emotional energy, into your storage facility. And when he dumps this thing into your sorry fact, it remains there. It remains there. And it occupies. And you know their own emotional energy from these evil spirits are very obsessive. So it takes over your emotional storage facility. Now guess what happens? The moment you meet a man, you can have all the fun you want with this man. Even do kissing and all kinds of stuff. But the day you dare to have sex with that man, that man's emotional energy will have to find its way automatically into your storage facility. And the moment that happens, this evil emotional energy from the wicked spirit you're sleeping with where you masturbate will begin to fight. It will fi If other men's emotional energy can fight other ones that come newly, imagine how the, that of a spirit will fight the new man that you just met. The moment that happens, the man, the evil spirit, the evil spirit's emotional energy in your storage facility will begin to fight that of the new man you just went to sleep with. And the fight will be so intense that you wake up one day and you are fighting with this man as if you both will kill yourselves. In just a short while, the relationship is ended. Everybody will go their own separate ways. Because you already have a soul tie with an evil spirit. And you want to come and initiate a soul tie with a human being. <laughs> so the spirit will ensure that that new relationship is destroyed, dismembered. In fact, it will de decapitated. Masturbation, you are storing an evil male energy inside of your emotional storage facility, in your soul. That's why it is called soul tie. That's where the soul tie. So many women are walking around today carrying a soul tie with evil spirits that they slept with while they were masturbating. The same thing with the man. You are a man, you are masturbating every time. That female spirit, just like the physical woman, will sprinkle all of her wicked, evil, obsessive, emotional energy on you spiritually. So when you meet a man, a woman, you are so confused, you can't concentrate to date one woman. You, you meet one woman, the next minute, the woman is just, they will find one fault to you and they will disappear. She will not allow you because the moment you now meet a woman, you want to enter into sex. The moment that person comes into sex with you, quarrel begins just like it happens with a woman. Fight everywhere. You are so confused. When you get somewhere with a relationship, you pull back. You don't know why you're pulling back. You can't start standing in a relationship for a while. You just go, when it's about to get better, you just something will just happen and you disappear. Because that re the, the evil emotional energy sprinkled on you through masturbation is making you to become very repulsive. You are confused. You don't know what you're doing. That's why everybody, please watch out for our topic on masturbation so that you will understand what really happens during masturbation. This is what is causing problems for so many of us. At the end of this series, because we are going to have it in different parts, then the end of it, I am going to show you how to break loose from these emotional and spiritual soul ties 
we have a special prayer that God has given to me. And by the end of the entire series, I'm going to release that prayer for everybody so that both for the man and the woman, you are able to break loose from it. You can't be jumping into a new relationship to get married to a man when so many men are living inside of you. It cannot happen. You will not focus. You will never focus to love this man. Your emotional storage facility is meant to contain the fountain of your husband alone. Not too many men. Many of you have a list. If you want to write the list of men who have gone through you now, it will fill an entire page. And you are still carrying all of them. You have not evacuated and you are bringing a man to marry you. How can that work? And you, you are a man. Imagine if you are putting on a new clothes for every woman you have slept with. You would have blown up like this. So where is the next woman coming? Where is she going to fit in? So much confusion. This is why we need to break loose. The moment you break loose, by the time I show you that prayer and you pray it and you follow the instructions at the end of this entire series, by the time you do all those things, the moment you walk into it, that's why virginity was encouraged because of this reason. This is why God wants women to be virgin, men to be virgins. That's what Proverbs chapter 5 verse 15 to 19 is talking about. Let it be just for your woman. This is why women should teach their daughter to stay virgin. The world doesn't want that to happen because they want to destroy us and destroy relationships and destroy the foundations of our societies. Because, you know, when relationships are messed up, families are disgruntled, then society is finished. This is what is going on. But if you have lost your virginity, whether you're a woman or you're a man, there is still hope because I'm going to show you how you can evacuate these wicked emotional energies now, which create the emotional soul tie so that you can now have a clean storage system and God will fill you up afresh with a new energy for the man that you're going to spend your life with, for the woman that you're going to end up with. This is my clear, inspirational understanding of soul tie. Sexual intercourse leads you to emotional bondage. The man is bonded. The woman is bonded. Until the woman is able to remove and expel that energy, all those energies, she cannot concentrate to be in any relationship.